Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear shocks on this 2003 uh, Honda Odyssey. Same for any 99 to 2004. We show you the right hand or passenger side rear and the passenger or the driver's side or left hand rear is the same procedure. Tools you'll need are a jack and jack stands to raise and support the car. Uh, you'll also need a 17 millimeter socket and ratchet as well as either a 19 millimeter socket or your lug wrench. First, to raise and support the vehicle, then use a 19 millimeter um, socket and breaker bar. Uh, if you're just using hand tools, actually you'll want to loosen the lug nuts when the wheel's on the ground and the vehicle's in park. Uh, loosen the lug nuts first, then raise and support the vehicle. Remove uh, the five lug nuts and remove the rear wheel. Okay, so you see my wrench is on the top uh, of the, the shock absorber. Just spray some anti-seize or penetrating oil in there and then do the same thing down here for the bottom. Alright. Okay and speed up here as we loosen that bolt. Uh, don't take it out all the way yet. You can see it requires some force but you should be able to do it with a regular um, ratchet handle. And again fast forward as we lo loosen and then we will remove this bolt. Okay, now back up to the top, remove that top bolt the rest of the way. Okay. And now uh, we'll use a hammer to get the shot off first. Uh, now reverse the procedure to reinstall. Use a hammer to tap the uh, bottom of the new shock onto the uh, shock mount at the bottom. And now use a jack uh, to lift the suspension just a little bit to line up the top mounting hole. And once you get it lined up, then slide the bolt in and start tightening it up. Okay, and we'll fast forward. You may have to tap um, lightly on the bolt to get it going and then push firmly on it to start it and then tighten it up nice and tight. Okay, then thread the bottom nut on and tighten that up as well. Both these should be around 65 to 70 foot-pounds. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward, put the wheel back in place, uh, start all five lug nuts on by hand first, um, and then just kind of preliminarily tighten them, and then lower your vehicle to the ground. Now set your torque wrench to 90 to 100 foot-pounds, and torque the wheel using a star pattern. Okay, whenever you've had the brakes apart, just make sure that you pump the pedal a few times, make sure it's nice and firm, and then before you road test your vehicle, just do test stops from 5 and 10 miles an hour, just to make sure the brakes are working properly. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.